back to First Take's Veteran Day Special. We are live from Westover Air Reserve Base in Chicopee, Massachusetts, about 50 miles north of our home in Bristol, Connecticut. In terms of total area, Westover is the largest air reserve base in the world. And we are so honored to be here. Of course, we're in Patriots country, so most should be happy here that New England stays perfect. The score was lopsided early, defeating Washington 27 to 10. The Pats did suffer some losses, though. Lewis. I'm sorry. Could Should you I ask you, you that again? Did you ask a question? Yes. Oh, wow. Can the Pats still go undefeated if they lose Deion Lewis? I say yes, Stephen A., but obviously this will make it a little tougher. Mm -hmm. Deion Lewis is, or maybe I should say was, their Darren Sproles. He, he was the lightning, the newly found lightning to LeGarrette Blount's thunder. And he, he, you could say he was the icing to, to a great cake. And the neon icing could be gone now. It sounds bad. It, 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 it seems like almost hopeless at this point for Dion Lewis to be available for the rest of the year. But the cake remains. And the cake just might be the greatest cake that's ever been baked because the cake is Tom Brady. And Some good cake. Yeah, it's a pretty good cake. And the point about Tom Brady is he, he is on a mission to deflate every opponent he faces. He, he's trying to, to take it out on the NFL that tried to take it out on him, that tried to frame him in his view for deflate gate. And he, he was special again yesterday. He's playing at a level I don't think any quarterback has ever known before. I'm not saying he's the greatest quarterback ever because his, his resume is unfinished, but he's playing at a level I've never seen a quarterback play at. And he's doing that despite the fact that you realize his best offensive lineman, Nate Solder, is gone for the year. His second best offensive lineman, lineman Sebastian Vollmer, knocked out yesterday with a head injury. We don't know how long he's going to be out. The third best offensive lineman, Marcus Cannon, didn't dress yesterday because he's still suffering with a foot injury. They are down to make shift inexperienced. It's by far the most inexperienced offensive line in the NFL. And Brady continues to operate at that same level because he's reading it, he's seeing it before the defense even knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. He's picking the right receiver pre-snap and he's getting rid of the ball in, in a, a record rate, 2.5 seconds per play. Right. So the point is that they're, they're going to miss Deion Lewis, but when you're operating at that level, I, I don't know. I, again, you, you've already picked Denver to win at Denver, right? Yes. Okay. I, I don't know how they're going to block Denver's pass rush, but every week I say, how can you block that pass rush? And they do. They blocked up the Redskins yesterday. Hmm. And then let, let me throw in one last point about Tom Brady yesterday, just to show you just what, what a mission he's on. He finally threw his first his fault interception of the whole year. That was his fault. He didn't see that linebacker. And the linebacker's running for a touchdown. It's going to be a pick six. And Tom Brady, I'm not saying this was smart, but I admired it. He goes and busts through the blocker and makes the tackle to stop a pick six. That's the mission that he's on this year. Again, was he risking injury and being knocked out for the year? Probably he was. But I admired it just the way I admired how they dispatched the Redskins with ease yesterday. So is 16-0 or 19-0 still within reach? Absolutely. He didn't look like a dork there. No. Nope. <laughs> and he didn't look like not a tough guy there, right? This subject annoys me. <laughs> and the reason why it, anno it annoys me is because in the NFL, you're supposed to be required to play against an NFL team. And the, and the Patriots didn't do that yesterday. The Redskins dropped seven passes, mm -hmm. six different receivers. It was the most drops by a Redskins team in the last 10 years and the most by any team in the last seven. It's called so, so, intimidation. So, so, well, again, you could call it whatever you want, but if you're an NFL team, you ain't supposed to be that damn intimidated, okay? Mm. I mean, if you're going to be that way, why bother showing up? And the Redskins, they just stink right now. It's just that simple. Just call it what it is. It's a daggone shame they're in the nation's capital, for crying out loud. Here's the deal. When you look at Tom Brady, nine for nine on screen passes, well, what, do you want a cookie? I mean, the man, the man is a great quarterback. We know it. He's a four-time Super Bowl champion. But to me, you know, we've gotten to the point to see, my problem with you, Skip, is this. 
I understand what Bart Scott said. I understand mm -hmm. what a couple of other people implied. But by and large, everybody recognizes Tom Brady as one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. It is now a discussion as to whether or not he will go down as the greatest quarterback to have ever played the game of football. You don't get that title because you started off 8-0 after a Super Bowl season. That means your body of work over the course of time has proven and validated your level of greatness. But because a couple of dudes came and insulted him, it's like, let, let, let's protest in the streets of America because how dare anybody question Tom Brady? Uh, stop it. The man is great. Mm -hmm. Did, did he insult this? him? Did Bart Scott insult yes. him? Yes. Thank you. Yes. We both acknowledge yes. that. But the point that I'm trying to make to you is that a defensive player would usually that, you know, they would usually come at you. I remember Joey Porter playing for the Steelers, and he went off about Peyton Manning and how Peyton Manning engages in all the trickery and all of this other stuff, and then the Steelers went out and beat him in a playoff game, mm -hmm. okay? But that didn't negate the fact that he was highlighting, he was trying to highlight and call out um, Peyton Manning because Peyton Manning tries to beat you cerebrally and when you're a defensive player if you're a middle linebacker calling plays and calling schemes you're going to react differently than somebody who's at the line of scrimmage and is just trying to get to the quarterback you want one of those mono e mono kind of things and when you don't get it you get very very frustrated so a Bart Scott or somebody calling out Tom Brady it wasn't surprising it was insulting it was insulting especially towards Tom Brady but it wasn't surprising because a lot of guys feel that way all I'm trying to say is this. We sitting up here having this discussion after they played the Redskins. We sat up here and had a discussion about Tom Brady after they played the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, November 29th when Time they out. play against the Denver Broncos. Oh, yes. I want to see it then. Wait because they will be coming. The question was, can they still go unbeaten without well, Deion you, Lewis? Well, you the it's one that went all over question. the place with your Brady stuff. Okay. I didn't do that. You the, the, did. The question wasn't, is Tom Brady the all-time yeah, greatest but, but, quarterback? But you went all over the place with okay. Tom Brady. Well, you went all over. You did everything with bringing flowers. They still have Brady. You did everything with bringing flowers. Uh, I'm just saying enough flowers. of this. Enough of this. Tom Brady. Can they still the, go the, unbeaten without I, Deion Lewis? I, well, Skip, why are we asking me that question? I said they weren't going unbeaten even with the... Deion Lewis was available. Okay. So why would I think that not now? You still think why? that? Why? <laughs> why would I not think that? I mean, you we, it's not like Denver lost somebody. New England, I predicted, would lose to Denver November 29th at the, in the Mile High City. You stick with had, it? Hold on. When they had Deion Lewis. So why did would you I think, see Denver yesterday? I'm asking. You did yes. not. No, no, no. No, no, no. To get back to what you were saying, you were saying in light of New England losing Deion Lewis, not in light of how Denver looked. You asked me in light Denver's of Denver's your team. I didn't pick Denver to win that game. But that's what I'm saying. Okay. We're talking about Are New you England. Still standing by your pick. Why not? Of course I am. They lost yesterday. They looked so exposed. What? So what? Andrew Luck took them apart. Th that's me. I believe that Denver will win on November 29th. Just mm -hmm. like I thought the Dallas Cowboys okay. would lose last night. All right. Just like I thought. And so, by the way, you uh, brought up Van Rodden. Well, that that was Rodden. a gutsy pick you, on your you, part. You brought up you Aaron Rodgers. You lost five hold in a row. You went way out on the limb. You brought up Aaron Rodgers. You are such a football guru. <laughs> you, you, I, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. You brought up Aaron Rodgers. Oh. I didn't pick Aaron Rodgers. You did. I picked Cam Newton. Mm -hmm. You picked Aaron Rodgers. Because he's good. He should have pulled that well, thing off. Well, I'm just off. saying, the point is... Fourth and goal, you, you got to make that but throw. But you introducing the subject like it was me that picked Aaron Rodgers. I ain't pick him. Wait a second. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, I have to throw this out. Please do. A couple of Fridays ago, we had one Pierre Garçon on mm -hmm. our show. That's remember right. that? Yeah, I remember. And Pierre like Garçon went on the record on live TV. It's on tape somewhere. Okay. He said that Aaron Rodgers is clearly a better quarterback than Tom Brady. So what happened on the first throw of the game for the Redskins yesterday? It hit Pierre Garçon uh -huh. right in the hands, and karma happened. The K That's word. What I knew the it ball was coming. ricochets up, and it gets intercepted. And they are off to the races with how many drops did they have? So, 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 so. I just want clarification. Karma. I just want clarification. Yes. So you're saying... Yeah. <laughs> that because Pierre Garçon yes. had the audacity, he dared, he dared the unmitigated to, goal yes, the to sit up there and, to say, and yes. to say that there was somebody better than Tom Brady. Yes. Karma. Karma yeah, because he spoke against yeah. Tom Brady. Yeah. Karma he spoke against Tom Brady. You know, you know he spoke against is. Tom Brady. So, 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 I mean, you can't speak against yes. Tom Brady and have good things come uh -huh. your way, right? That can't happen. That can't happen. Well, this is actually a first take. Was Garçon right about that? Would you still say that he was right about I, that? No, I would think that that play 
had everything to do with Pierre Garçon dropping a pass along with the other six receivers uh -huh. than it did with, yeah. oh my lord, he yeah. spoke against Mr. Tom Brady. I mean, just, 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 just arrest the man. Arrest yeah. him now. Arrest him. How dare he speak against Tom Brady? Okay. I mean, it just can't happen. Okay, so you, you basically say the Redskins should be arrested for impersonating a football team yes. yesterday? Yes. But, but if memory serves, yes. am, am yes. I right? Yes. Wait, those same Redskins, didn't they beat your Giants? Am I right about it? Did they beat the Eagles? Wait, I think how they, are they beat... How are the Giants doing in the NFC East? I think, I, I think I they're all know, right. I don't know, but they yeah. lost to the Redskins? No, or did, yeah. Wait, the Eagles the lost Cowboys to the Redskins. The Cowboys lost to everybody. Did, so. Wait, didn't Kirk Cousins beat the Eagles with the last second? I mean, right. Skip, I can't make up my mind with you, man. Oh, I mean, is wow. it Brady or is it Romo? Oh. I mean, what's up? Wow. What's up? It's Brady oh. all day. Really? Brady all day. You the, sure? Yes, sir. Okay. The Patriots has have now scored in 31 consecutive quarters. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, it is. All right. It is. Up next, from Westover Air Reserve Base in Chicopee, Massachusetts, I'm very excited. We have a new segment, Welcome to Mollywood, where the fans take charge and get to ask